Now, there's no real categorization for these plugins. They just happen to be some of my personal favorites, some that I use a lot, and others that I just think are really, really interesting. All of these are premium plugins. If you wanna pick up one, please follow my affiliate link in the video description. I make a commission off that, and it's really how I make all my money on my channel. However, I am gonna be releasing another video in about two days here that's my list of my favorite free plugins that you can use in 2020. And again, I'm gonna link that in the video description once I get that published. And if you really, really love plugins, be sure to check out my list from 2019. Again, I'm gonna link that in the video description. And please, by all means, share with me your favorite plugins in the comments. I always love to find new plugins to review on my channel. Okay, let's get into the list. If you're working in Adobe After Effects on a regular basis, you'll definitely wanna pick up Motion. They just recently released version three, which is just a powerhouse, 45 plus tools and hundreds of controls. These include tools for controlling your anchor points, your comps, color, curves for easing animation, and just a ton of other features. All of this is packed together in one compact and customizable user interface. With the GeoLayers plugin, After Effects users can design and animate maps directly inside of Adobe After Effects. What it does is it renders custom maps from different online sources, providing direct access to extensive databases of geospatial features around the world. It allows you to easily draw buildings to After Effects shape layers, highlight country borders, streets, lakes, whatever you want really. You can animate driving routes, extrude buildings, essentially anything in the world that has geodata, geolayers can take that and integrate that as an element inside of Adobe After Effects. So styling maps is really quick and easy. You can create data-driven animations. It allows you to import large data sets and other elements via TSV, CSV, GeoJSON, and KML formats. And if you have Trapcode Mirror 3, Metal Freeform Pro, or Raw Byte Plexus 3 installed, you can actually create these gorgeous 3D landscape setups. And these use real elevation data. Now, Pins and Boxes is one of my favorite plugins. I think I had this on my list in, from 2019. It allows you to create these really complex layouts without worrying about expressions. And you do all this using two very simple concepts, pins and boxes. It allows you to align and attach elements to any point of the bounding box of text and create boxes that grow and shrink with their content. So if you do any creation of motion graphics templates or mogurts for Premiere Pro users, you're really going to want to buy this plugin. SmartRect is another really cool tool if you're working with titles. Let's say you're creating like lower thirds or different titles that you want to throw backgrounds on. This tool is really amazing. This is from Euchre Media. If you aren't subscribed to their YouTube channel, go check them out. They have a ton of cool After Effects tips and tricks videos and just really, really great content. Now this script gives After Effects users a beast mode rectangle tool. Now the default rectangle tool in After Effects creates a shape layer that only sizes from the center of the shape, and if you've ever used that, you know it can be extremely frustrating. Well, this gives you more size options by sizing the rectangle shape layer from different pivot points. So you can essentially quickly reposition the anchor point to anywhere on the layer, and you can control the margins and much, much more. You can apply it to multiple layers at a time and not just text elements. The price point on this script is so low, there's no reason not to buy it. If you love the power of expressions of Adobe After Effects, but you don't know how to write the code and you just hate the idea of thinking of modifying or customizing that code, then this plugin is for you. iExpressions allows you to create complex expression-driven templates, character rigs, shape animations, and much more without having to worry about writing any code. It comes with over 100 iExpressions, each with an intuitive, easy-to-use interface. Now, the projects that you're working on with iExpressions will still work on machines where iExpressions is not even installed, as well as in Premiere Pro Mogurt templates that you create. Now, if you're on the other side of this and you happen to love working with expressions, then you'll want to check out MoCode. This tool brings an entire development environment and a toolbar to After Effects for both beginners and experts. Now, it's not just a code editor. This is an all new way to quickly and easily write your expressions and scripts, save them, classify, and reuse them. With MoCode, you can explore a project and navigate between multiple properties, build a code library to reuse your work and share it with your team, create graphic interfaces for your expressions and scripts with a simple syntax use snippets and auto completion, and much, much more. Go check it out. So the Trim Paths Animator is one of my favorite tools inside of Adobe After Effects, and that's why I love this next plugin, Fox Reveal. This takes trimming paths to the next level. It allows AE users to create complex path reveals without adding and moving hundreds of keyframes. You can basically reveal complex path structures from any point and with one simple click. You can control the reveal with two simple keyframes and its curve. 
Frequency React is a very versatile extension that's going to allow users to drive animations via specific audio frequencies. You can quickly switch between frequency presets and heights to find the specific range that you're looking for. Once you've isolated that frequency, you can slap a controller on any property that can be animated. You can use additive mode to make your reacting effects increase over time. You can create infinite rotations, shapes growing beyond the bounds of the screen, or starships flying through space. My favorite aspect of this tool is the clean and intuitive interface. Beat Edit is another powerful audio related tool. This will really change the way that you work with music in After Effects. With Beat Edit, you can auto detect beats in a music track, wiggle to the beat, write markers, repeat keyframes, stagger layers, and much more. It'll automatically detect beats in your music track and then represent them as markers. Now this can be the basis of a new edit, or it can be used to automate cuts that are synced to the music. Oh yeah, and this is also naturally available for Adobe Premiere Pro. So you can buy these either separately or you can buy them as a bundle and save about 50 bucks. Watchtower is a really great, handy little tool. This is an After Effects extension that syncs project bins with system folders. It's very useful if you're working on a team where assets are constantly being added to drives. Now personally, one time I found myself in this situation where I actually got in trouble for leaving out an asset that was added halfway through the project. With Watchtower, I could have set it up to automatically sync to my media drives and search for new assets at specific increments. Lockdown is a revolutionary new plugin that allows users to track warping surfaces inside of Adobe After Effects. It's especially useful for beauty retouching and other previously difficult cleanup jobs. In fact, the most recent update includes support for the built-in face tracker inside of After Effects. You really have to see this one to believe it, so I suggest you head over, follow the affiliate link, and download the trial version to see if it's going to work for your particular scenario. Handycam simplifies every aspect of animated cameras in After Effects. Taking inspiration from 3D apps like Maya, it was crafted to make animating AE cameras as painless as possible. In Handycam, users can target layers while moving in world space, create a dolly zoom with one simple click, easily emulate handheld movement with depth of field wiggles. You can use the bake feature to send your project to another animator and open it on a different computer that doesn't even have Handycam. Overlord is extremely cool. Now if you've ever worked with vector files between Adobe Illustrator and Adobe After Effects, you know that it's not entirely straightforward. That's why Adam from Battle Axe created Overlord, a set of two panels that, when both open, create a portal between Illustrator and After Effects. Adam describes this as a mystical stargate that allows the transfer of shapes as you need them while animating without the need for file organization, importing, converting to shape layers, or redrawing. What's freaking amazing is that AE shape layers can also be sent back to Illustrator via this mystical stargate for further editing. And again, Adam says that it's essentially like using Illustrator as a plugin for Adobe After Effects. It allows you to work with shapes, not files. Last but not least is Ray Dynamic Color. Just like working with Illustrator files has never been that straightforward, working with colors in Adobe After Effects has also never been very easy or intuitive. With a compact and intuitive interface, Ray Dynamic Color has a solution for this color management problem. It allows you to color your scene with one click using color swatches, extract colors from your scene into a palette, color with or without expression links, color shape layer strokes and fills individually, and much, much more. So there you have it, those are some of my favorites. Once again, if you could follow those affiliate links in the video description, that really helps out my channel. And um, check out the freebie list that I'm gonna have in a few days and check out the list from 2019. And again, leave comments telling me your favorite plugins that I can review in the future. I love finding new plugins that are really interesting. So do that now. If you wanna see more content like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. I'll see you next time.